All right, hello. I I was sitting here um, today is Saturday. I, I usually uh, fast on Saturdays and meditate and read the word and talk to God and try to get some answers. Um, I was didn't really go anywhere. I've, I've been confined to the house, you know, to the house, but that's okay because you know I'm not a busybody person anyway. And and since I was sitting under the my electric fireplace, I said, you know what? I'll just show that <laughs> and not my face. But something's big is coming. Something big is coming. God has made a judgment on this nation. People, God is going to get his vengeance on. One thing that he don't like is um, oppressing the poor. The Bible speaks of when you oppress the poor, even out of their home, you know, but people are going to be dealt with. And, and as far as this pandemic, um, I believe... And this is just what I believe, that even if it was man-made, even if it was man-made, God allowed this as a plague, a plague. And I asked God, I said, Lord, after I was praying, I said, Lord, we, I was crying. Lord, we need a revival. We need a revival. And you know what he said? He said, first, I must clean up the cities. I said, what do you mean by that? You mean more deaths? Something's going to, it's going to be, I feel peace. Something's going to be okay. I'm thinking when it starts getting warm again, that, and maybe before that, like spring or something, but something else is going to happen. Something else is going to happen. Um, people are going to realize how big God is. Those who even are pressing is going to get, you reap what you sow. I believe that. But we, we're going to be okay. And I know a lot of things been happening in the in the dark community. That When I say dark, I mean brown people. It's going to get better. We all have to suffer. And we have to suffer for righteous sake. But for God, for anything to change, things has to happen. When the shifting comes, things has to happen. And I believe that even if it caused some deaths, just to, to get the attention of someone, we don't know God's plan. Even though God may use a person to wake up the whole nation, you don't know if he already prepared to take that person. Because God knows how to come at that moment or God, you know, um, and, and just like um, George Floyd, even though, you know, and I don't know, this is, you know, I know people call their moms and, and like your mama, whatever, but I don't know if he saw her through a, as he was transitioning, he was leaving here. He could have saw her in the, in, in the spirit realm, calling her to help. You don't know. But see, we're so quick to judge. You don't know God's plan. And just like, um, uh, Emmett Tillman, the boy who got killed um, in the 50s, I think. Emmett Tillman, whatever. His mom, I, I just happened to, to read one about the biography when she was talking. She said that she asked God about her son. Like, Lord, I loved him and everything. She And this is the first time I heard her say. She said, God told her that I love him too. But I had to use him. To wake up the nation for civil, for you know, for the for because you know, there's a lot of blacks um, wanting um, wanting um, to be delivered. You know, you know the uh, other races and all this these things and and no no rights and things like that. So she said that God used him to anger the people so they can stick together and make this march to make some changes. I'm not saying that it's a hundred percent now and it was slowly changing then, but she said that he is with me. This is what she said. Now, I didn't know she was going to, um, some church got in Christ, something in Chicago or something. I think she's from Chicago, but, um, I didn't know this for many years until I just sat and, and listened to the video um, when they was talking to her and she died without even knowing physically here to get justice. But I'm sure, you know, but she said that God used him. 
I was saying, but he was in pain. He didn't. I was like, well, so was Jesus. And sometimes, you know, we have to, people who don't, things that don't happen to them like that, and they have to pay the price of persecution, even if they don't get beat like that, we have to pay the price to get to heaven. So he didn't, may not have a, a, a long life to do this, but he died, he did, you know, it happened to him in pain. And the reason why it happened in pain, yes, that's going to make a lot of people angry of all races if they love people. And so that made the people move to civil rights. It wasn't just the blacks that was uh, protesting. It was um, all different races. And so it, it got to a point where, you know, what we see where people have a right to do this and this. I'm not saying it's even 100% right now because we're, you know, all people are struggling. But we can't forget to um, not pray for those third world, world countries that they're really suffering. God wants us to do that too because they, they're our brothers and sisters as well. But we have to get off of this prejudice stuff. And so with a lot of the blacks, the things happening now, you know, we know is the enemy. But people, please call out to, 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 to the one above. Call them out. I just pray that they remember that people had called out and that they remember the name of Jesus because people panic and they don't think about that. I said, Lord, let them think about you and call out to you. It's killings everywhere, different countries. But the focus is it's going to get better. God said it will be a revival. And these young people, this generation, like if, if you from the, what is that, um, in the 1930s when they had that, um, uh, what do you call the de uh, depression? Um, uh, I think it's called the, depre the, the depression, whatever. But a lot of uh, pa uh, parents had had a lot of babies during that time. And they call their children the baby boomers. The baby boomers have them. That's that last generation will preach or, or teach that gospel. But their children, like the, 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 the ages from 10 years old right now, let's see, 10 and 20 years old, and, and babies just coming up. That's that generation. That's that generation. Oh, my fire went out. Just going to... Um, be on that move for that revival. It's beginning now. People, I mean, um, we're at the beginning of it. All these people that's on these video, making videos on YouTube and Facebook, this is the start of the, this is that generation. And so we have to keep that up because the people behind us is going to be that, you know, is going to be deliverance, deliverance. So God has already raised up the army. We are the army. And those, and so a lot of the, the people my age have, have kids with kids. And, you know, and so um, we have to get on the stick. So something big uh, is, I'm not, you know, I mean, what I'm saying is it may be still a lot of tragic, but something good is coming. It's for, for the good, for righteousness sake. Yes. So. We just have to continue to pray. I just want, I was just sitting here meditating. I just wanted to share my thoughts. It's not like I had something big to say. I mean, like, well, it is something big to say anytime you talk about God. And next time I will be able to, um, you know, everybody know what I look like who look at my videos. <laughs> but you don't want to see me now. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. But I just don't, I didn't feel like it. I just threw on the um, scarf and got my reading glasses on, so... All right, take care, and um, I will be talking soon.